Hello, in our parasha, parashat Miketz, Yehuda ben Yaakov takes another step in the path of tshuva. In the previous parasha, he was willing to sell Yosef as a slave. And he was willing to do that under the title of being a good brother. What will we gain from killing our brother? He says, We shouldn't hurt him. We shouldn't harm him physically because he is our brother. He's part of our flesh. And then he's willing to sell him as a slave, completely not understanding the deep connection of brotherhood. He says, at least I don't harm him. I'll just get rid of him. That is exactly the opposite of the Yehuda that we meet in our parasha. Yehuda in our parasha takes responsibility, is willing to be held reliable for very difficult situations, and not only because he is worried for himself, but because he is willing to take care of his family and of his brother, Binyamin. He tells his father, Yaakov, Anuchi e'ervenu miyadi tevakshen. He's telling Yaakov, Binyamin will come with me, and he is my responsibility. I am the one to be held liable for anything that happens to him. And if something happens, I will be the one who should be seen as the sinner, as the one who has made a very big mistake. Our relationship will be harmed forever. This is Yehuda getting up as a leader, but more than a leader, as a true brother. Feeling this deep connection both to Yaakov and to Binyamin, and realizing how important this is. And therefore Yaakov says, Anochi e'ervenu miyadi tevakshenu. He is my responsibility. I'm the one to be turned to. And he takes this responsibility upon himself, not only in words, but also in actions. Our parasha doesn't just end with the fact that Binyamin has to stay in jail, but Yehuda is the one who turns to Yosef and says, Yehuda is the one who becomes the leader of the brothers. He is the one who takes responsibility over this situation in which Binyamin is about to be thrown into the Egyptian prison. He has all the right to say Binyamin has been caught in theft. This is not included in the story in what I promised Yaakov. But Yehuda turns around and tells Yosef, we will all stay here until Binyamin leaves. We will not leave Binyamin alone. And that, of course, connects to the next parasha in which Yehuda is the one who stands up and is willing to confront one of the strongest people in the world just in order to make sure that his brother and father have peace, can reunite again. And that is the big tshuva. Yehuda who didn't care over his father and brother in the previous parasha is the one who is taking full responsibility and is willing to say, no, I am not going to give up on anyone. And of course, this parasha is very, very connected to the situation that we are in, in the middle of this war, when we have our brothers and sisters in different places all over the Gaza Strip, and we have this deep connection to them and we feel this responsibility that we have to make sure that whoever can will return home in the best way that we can possibly get there and we all feel this connection this brotherhood the pain the anguish the despair but also we can feel the pride of Am Yisrael standing together and not deserting anyone coming together and saying we as a nation were walking in the footsteps of Yehuda and saying we have the responsibility to do whatever we can for the good of all of Am Yisrael and for the good of our brothers and sisters that are held captive. Shabbat Shalom.